What up, Shrub Club? It's your man, Don Monenson, and you guessed it. Right here, right now, the Battlefield 2042 beta is live. So your boy hung out late night, and we got to peeping on what's going on. And I want to say that it doesn't look that good for DICE right now. Unfortunately, the game is definitely not complete. People are complaining about their guns firing and not stop firing. When you lay prone, your hands off your weapon, you continue crawling forward. Oh, trying to get into a game. Trying to get into a game took at least 25, 30 minutes from Micro Pony and I. And unfortunately, he wasn't able to even partake in it because his controller lost support. Dice, it's 2021. I mean, look, if you check out this clip right here, you got me flying and then I'm figuring out the controls and I put them on legacy controls because I play in controller. I come from console world, Xbox primarily. What's up, Microsoft? How we living? Plug, plug, wink, wink. Everything that I do revolves around a controller. All the PC players for all of this always say, dude, just get a joystick. Dude, just figure it out with mouse key and, and you'll be way better. You're better off. I've been playing Battlefield since 1942, since the first one dropped. I love this series. The series is just more realistic. It's slower paced, but more tactical gameplay. And the amount of realism that they bring into it on top of keeping it arcadey is dope. One of the faults that we regressed in this beta is that Battlefield 5 movements were pretty good in my personal opinion because it was like Rainbow Six and you could literally roll over on your back and shoot while you were on your back. That was one up huge difference between Call of Duty and Battlefield. I felt as far as movements went because if I was going to go prone and turn around, I'd roll over on my back. It's like real life. It's just how it goes, man. And unfortunately, I experienced in the beta that it's not there. The vehicles are really cool. They got the Osprey, which is really dope. The fact that you can turn the turbines and straight up flip them forward, fly them like a plane, and then boop, put it back to hover as a transport vehicle is absolutely genius. We get some OGs. I see you, little bird. What's up, gun runs? We're going to get to it soon enough. You have the F-35s. A lot easier for you to stabilize the engines instead of trying to hover close to the ground and you're, you're flicking the triggers and you're figuring it out. Now it's just push up on the D-pad. We'll flip the engine up and then you hover and then you get to do your thing. Like I said, unfortunately, on PC for controller support, I got to look more into the menus. Right now, it's been late night. I've been grinding so I can get you guys game footage and game clips and just enjoying seeing this early morning while sipping your coffee, and I'll be right behind you doing that. Overall, I want to say it's a beta. It's got it's going to have bugs. I mean, Battlefield 4, when it first dropped, 3 was great, but it still had problems when it first came out. Battlefield 4, when it first dropped, was absolutely crazy. If you guys don't know Neebs Gaming... Go check them out. They're really cool. I really enjoyed them. They helped me get through my battlefield phase and they really nailed it right on the head with their comedic sense of humor on top of Battlefield Friends, which was a cartoon series that they put together. Really, really well put together. I thought it was dope. You have four classes. You got your engineer, your medic, your sniper recon, and your assault class. I only played as the sniper class because, I mean, let's face it, we're bush bros. I enjoy the shrubbery. I enjoy that ghillie suit feel, you know? Love me some bush. But I got to playing with the light machine gun. That was really dope. The way that you could do weapons attachments, check this out. You hold left bumper on your controller and it pulls up the menu and you can customize it as you go, the muzzles, the reticles so if you're going close quarters on the fly you can flip from an ACOG to a red dot that is such a cool feature and I'm looking forward to using it to my advantage as we go the animations are definitely off but of course it's still a beta the vehicle gameplay was absolutely dope I enjoyed it 
like I said, I just got to figure out with controller in the PC settings. It was a little rough. My transition has been a little rough back to the PC world with it. I thought it looked really well made as far as a beta goes, graphics. The fact that it's 124 people on this map, right? 124, that's 64 v 64. The amount of chaos in this whole map is amazing. Fortunately, my team, I wasn't really doing much. I was more so a sightseeing tourist the whole time, or as most of you know, a backpack just like in Verdansk and Rebirth with Iron Rocco V and Micro Pony. What's up, fams? How we living? But I was sightseeing and we got victories. I helped cap points. The tank play, I got tank footage. The tank play is dope. I'm not really a fan of how they slowed down the turret in Battlefield 5. I guess it makes more sense. The time to kill with a weapon system is absolutely bananas. It is super quick, especially just in core. We got to hit one map so far. It's the orbital map that you saw in the trailer. To get into your wingsuit, highly suggest you click in like you're going to sprint and it'll engage the wingsuit for flight. A on the controller still puts out your parachute. The parachute function still got, I mean, you'll see in, in in the clips and stuff like that that I include in this video. The parachute functions and, and maneuvering around with it is still a little rough. It's a work in progress, right? So these guys got another month. I'm sure you guys are gonna be checking it out. If you guys pre-ordered it, you'll be able to get after it as of today. It wraps up this Sunday, I believe as of Friday or Saturday, the beta is going live for y'all. You guys could probably preload it Friday night, at that point, I highly suggest you check it out. It's more tactical gameplay. They need to fix the comms. They need to fix the controller support on PC. Like you give Xbox and PlayStation those legacy Battlefield controls, bring it to PC, just port it over. Just copy and paste it, man. That's all I ask, Dice, because as a controller player, coming from console to PC, if I can keep those controls, I can keep frying. I can keep creating dope content with it. Overall, Unfortunately, wasn't able to get into games right off the rip. Like I said before earlier in the video, it was 20 minutes or so. Hopefully they fix that. They patch that right away within the next day or two. So everybody could equally enjoy the beta. I don't know if squad play was working. Micro Pony and I split to go peep it, check it out. But we're going to continue on. I just wanted to make this quick video, give you guys a heads up, give you guys the footage. And I'm going to leave off with us rolling out with the last game that I played so you guys could check it out scroll through it see the graphics see what you're doing I'm on 3070 so that's that's what you guys get to base your graphics off that graphics card and you guys get to check it out and I hope you guys enjoy it so without further ado let's go watch the rest of this vibe out you guys get ready for that gameplay later on tonight and tomorrow and the rest of the weekend when you guys start enjoying the beta battlefield 2042 is here and i'm excited
Take it. 
hope you guys enjoyed that last gameplay, that final gameplay. I didn't really talk too much because A, it's really late at night here, and B, squad mates weren't really talking, and I really wanted you guys to just get a feel for the gameplay. I'm going to chop it up, and we're going to go from there. I'm going to be dropping the real meme that I'm making right after this. It's going to be on the YouTube shorts and Instagram reels. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, please leave a comment. Hit me with a like. Let me know what you thought because I can't wait to get more footage out of this. And we're going to be streaming later on today, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, right on Twitch. So look me up at Dom Odinson. You can check it out right in the links below in the description as well. You guys want to join the Shrub Club? It's a great opportunity to hang out with a bunch of people that love the game and enjoy good times and nothing but good vibes. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe, turn the alarms off for the next videos. I really appreciate all of you for hanging out. Make sure you hit up our Discord, link up with us on stream, hang out with us. Let's just have a good Shrub Club party time. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, yo, have a great rest of your day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tom Modinson, we out here.